So in today's video, we're gonna look at two different tablets just recently released. The new Lenovo Chromebook Duet, and we're gonna compare that against the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. You can get the Chromebook around $300 when it's in stock, and the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite is right around $400, depending on which version you get. Both versions that I've got are the 64 gigabytes Wi-Fi only version, but I'll leave a link in the description below with current pricing and more information. So now let's go ahead and get started. Now when it comes to which one has the better screen, the Galaxy Tab has a 10.4 inch 2000 by 1200 and the Duet has a 10.1 inch 1920 by 1200. They're both basically 1080p resolution. The Chromebook Duet actually has a brighter display and surprisingly has better viewing angles than the Galaxy Tab. So if you want the better display, I think both of these tablets look really good. Whether you're watching videos, playing games, or just browsing online. If I had to choose between these two, I would go with the Chromebook Duet. Now when it comes to which one has the better battery life, I tested both of these streaming continuous video at 100% brightness and the Galaxy Tab lasted right at 6 hours before dying and the Chromebook Duet lasted right around 4.5 hours which is not that good compared to other devices I've tested. So obviously the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite has the better battery life. Now the Chromebook Duet did take about three hours and 20 minutes to charge completely versus four hours on the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. So it's actually pretty similar on charging times. But if you want the tablet with better battery life, then I would definitely go with the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. Now when it comes to performance, they are fairly similar. The Duet has four gigabytes of RAM. The Galaxy Tab S6 Lite has four gigabytes of RAM. The Duet uses a MediaTek Helio P60T octa-core processor, and the Galaxy Tab uses an Exynos 9611 octa-core processor. You can see here, after doing a Geekbench test, the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite is a little more powerful, and you can sort of tell that just moving around within the software. Things seem to load a little bit quicker on the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, even though the Chromebook Duet actually boots up quite a bit faster than the Galaxy Tab. But moving around in the software, it does seem like the Chromebook Duet is maybe a little more sluggish. It's not a huge difference. The weird thing is you can see here, it says the Chromebook Duet is on Android 9. So I don't know if that's just what it's using for the Android apps. But considering this just came out, you would think it would be using Android 10. Now when it comes to gaming, PUBG Mobile is using HD graphics and high frame rates on both of these. But unfortunately, I can't use my favorite iPega controller on the Duet. That might just be me. I don't think everyone's going to care about that. Now on Call of Duty Mobile, both of these are using medium graphic quality and medium frame rates. Both tablets actually play pretty smooth in my testing. But if I had to choose just one, you guessed it, it would probably be the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. So when it comes to which have the better cameras, it's really close when it comes to the rear cameras. I feel like the Chromebook Duet may just edge out the Samsung tablet, but it's sort of a toss up. Now, if you're wanting to use one of these for something like Zoom meetings and the front facing camera is important to you, I would definitely go with the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. Overall, it's just a lot better camera. Plus, Samsung does really good at smoothing out any imperfections that you might have with their software. One thing I will point out, if you do go with the Duet tablet, I would definitely download the Google Camera app because the default one from Lenovo just seems a little sluggish and it just doesn't seem as good as the Google Camera. Now when it comes to speakers, this one really isn't that close. Now they both have two speakers. The Galaxy Tab has one on each side 
where the Chromebook places both speakers right on top, mainly because the keyboard attachment is at the bottom. But when comparing these side by side, it just wasn't even close. The Tab S6 Lite is really loud and even has some punch to it. Even when pointing the Chromebook Duet speakers towards me, it feels like only about 60 to 70% as loud as the Galaxy Tab. So in this case, it's pretty obvious. If you want the tablet with better speakers, definitely go with the Tab S6 Lite. Now one thing where I think the Duet sort of beats out the Tab S6 Lite is when it comes to accessories. The fact that the Duet comes with a keyboard and a really good keyboard at that, I think is a huge advantage, especially if you're gonna use this for productivity or if you just like a physical keyboard versus an on-screen keyboard. Now the Galaxy Tab does come with an S Pen, which is probably one of the best S Pens that I've used. I believe they are starting to make aftermarket keyboards for the Tab S6 Lite, but to me, the options don't look very good compared to the Chromebook Duet. So I think it's just gonna come down to which is more important, having a really good keyboard with a touchpad or having a really good stylus using the S Pen on the Tab S6 Lite. Oh, and one other thing that I probably should mention, only the Galaxy Tab has a headphone jack. So if that's important to you when playing games, watching movies, or pretty much anything to do with audio, then you probably better go with the Tab S6 Lite. So it gets a little tricky when trying to figure out which of these has better software. Obviously the Chromebook Duet is running Chrome OS, but it's very similar to Android in general. But I think another advantage the Chromebook has over Android tablets is the ability to go to the web version of a lot of apps instead of going just through the Google Play Store, which can give you a better experience depending on which app you're using. And then once you add on the keyboard that comes with it, it's really tough to be with an aftermarket keyboard that's available for the Tab S6 Lite right now. So I think it's kind of obvious in most categories, the Tab S6 Lite is the better tablet. I'm not saying that the Chromebook Duet is a bad tablet. It's actually really nice, especially for the price and the fact they include the keyboard. So unless the keyboard is really important to you and using web-based apps, I know for me, if I had to choose between these two tablets, I would definitely go with the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.